Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning. It's Friday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Y'all, Ricky, at Special K, is a very sad time. Y'all, for one of y'all comedic friends, honey, Lil Duval, y'all, it's being reported that Lil Duval, honey, is being sued, honey, in a copyright infringement suit. And no. he said wow. he's dead, and he is denying, y'all, that he stole the hits, honey, living my best life. Now, it's being reported, y'all, that Lil, Lil Duval has been hit with a lawsuit from his former friend, y'all, accusing them of co-opted his um the hit smile which they said honey they co-wrote and released it and he released it on his own now they're saying the comedian turned recording artist denied that he stole smile living my best life from his um ex-pals and creative partners at once their suit dismissed according to court papers y'all now they're saying the plaintiff well, Darwin Quinn and Mitchell Sayum, uh, S-I-U-M. Now, they're suing him. They sued him on June the 19th for copyright infringement, uh, um, accusing the jokes of stealing a song they all made under their noses and raking in all the money off of it. Yeah. Now, Sayum, a professional singer-songwriter, and Quinn is a producer and music writer, said that they were all in Quinn's beautiful Atlanta home back in 2017 when Quinn played the beat for a song called Back and Forward. Duval and Sayum then wrote and recorded the words and melody to the song, but they said Duval, honey, he went on here behind their backs, honey, and working with another producer who re-recorded Duval singing the hook hun, unto the um, different beat. Now, they're saying the new song with the hook, the plaintiff said, they helped write, but over a new beat was published as Smile, and it was featuring with Snoop Doggy Dogg. And in another lawsuit, honey, um, um, Mr. Duval um, is being sued, honey, by a beautiful woman by the name of Tarnika Shiny. She said she's suing over support, honey, of their 12-year-old daughter. She said Duval loved to live a beautiful, wonderful, lavish life lifestyle and an over-the-top lifestyle. She said, but she wanted to pay for their child right now. Unquote. Well, y'all know anything about that? Brad, how does that work with the music thing? How does that work? I mean, they probably was all in the studio singing and playing around. And ain't no telling who really came up with it or whatever. But, okay, like, you get that squared away kind of in the beginning. Like, if they help, give them a little something. But if they didn't help, I'm, why would I give them anything if I if I wrote the song? Like, that is a touchy situation. Like, if you in there drinking and smoking and having a good time with your friends and y'all just sing something stupid, like, why do they want credit? I don't understand. I don't think Lil Duval would do this knowing that they could probably sue. I, I, I'm glad he's denying it if it's not true because people do that all the time. Like, well, you want a part of it because you added the, hey, no. Yeah, well, but you said something, but this is the deal, though, Brett. Now, they said Lil Duval, honey, claimed, y'all, that Quinn and Siam's claim didn't have a leg to stand on, but they say he didn't even, he, they said, he said that even if he's found liable, any judgment amount should be reduced by death because he claims that the plaintiffs owe him. However, they say he did not deny that Quinn and Siam own the copyright on the song and said that the owner should speak for itself. So mm. if he if they said uh they still should get paid for it because that uh made them the part that everybody liked on it and stuff, honey. No. So oh, no. that. I ain't in that song. Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I you just said uh, I used that as the damn uh, example. You gotta pay for it. Back with you. Living my best life. Uh, I ain't going back. I ain't, I ain't well, whatever part he need to pay because those men they was all that that was wrong with people now. That's why people don't like to do stuff with other people now. Because y'all don't want to pay up and stuff like that. Pay these doggone people. No, it's got to be fair. Gary, it's got to be fair. Well, you probably told them when we was in there, man, I'm going to cut you off a little bit <laughs> and stuff like that. And that's what um, people do. And well, honey, it, so cut them off. Oh, God. Okay, Gary, you win. And, and then, you know, comedians, be. I mean, comedians uh, work together all the time. I mean, me and, Ced, me and Cedric the Entertainer was driving up Peach Street, up in Buckhead, going to Uptown Comedy Club one night. And Cedric the Entertainer came up with Lil Dara. I didn't, I didn't, I just used to do it on stage and said, laid it out for me and wrote it and, and came up with the name and all that stuff and said, this is Rick, Rick Hill, good joke for you. This is how you should do it. And I did Lil Dara and it blew my career up. But said I ain't come back and say, well, I need to, I'm going to sue Rick and Smiley. You know, Cedric yeah, the Entertainer. Like- but a lot of people don't know that Cedric the Entertainer wrote Lil Dara. You didn't know that evil. <laughs> no, I remember you telling me the story. Yeah, but yeah. Th- that was different Negroes then. Y'all era and this era now is two different eras. So, honey, you know that. But no, people- that's oh, the thing, my. though, because Ricky brought little Daryl to life. So even though it was an idea that was implanted or might have been assisted by, Ricky is little Daryl. So but when I think we're missing song, the point, though. We're missing what I'm trying to say. No, the, 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 the blacks point, were the different the back <laughs> then than the blacks are right now. <laughs> so, the blacks. The color of the damn day, honey, the is blacks. manure. Okay. On the high, just say manure. On the low, just say beautiful olive. That's your color for the day. You full of the blood. Girl, we the blacks. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're different. <laughs> <laughs> he said the blacks.
blacks. <laughs> like like we are, we're a different race. You have African Americans and you have the blacks. <laughs> Man, you done killed me this morning. Be quiet. Go back to bed. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team.